Hello everyone, welcome back to today's tutorial. Welcome back to ERG Stitches YouTube channel. Thank you for my to my returning subscribers, thank you, and those that are stopping by for the first time, welcome to ERG Stitches. Please don't leave without touching that subscribe button. Subscribe to support your sister. It really means a lot to me. So today we are going to make a tutorial on how to cut an uh, a mermaid skirt. Actually, I'm going to use it for a gown, but I'm going to teach you how to cut the mermaid skirt. You can use it both for gown and skirt. The only difference is that if you're using it for gown, you just attach your half length. But if it's for skirt, you just attach your band. But it's the same process. Let's go to the cutting table. So this is the fabrics we are going to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to put it in, on, we are going to cut the front first. So I'm going to put it in two folds so, so that we can cut the front. So I put the fabrics in a, in two foldings, in a fold of two, because I'm cutting the front first. I'm shifting it so that you see what I'm doing. I'm going to cut the front first, then I'll use the front to cut the back. So what I did here is the higher circumference of my body, which is my hip, divided by four. My hip measurement is 48 inches. When I divide it by four, I have 12 inches. So what I did here is that that 12 inches, I added four inches to it because I don't want it to be too wide. You can add more than four to your own, depending on how wide you want to the down flame to be. So I mean, I just added four inches to it. So now I'm taking my measurement. So from this point now, I'm going to take my waist measurement, which is nine inches. But I'm adding half inch to it because I'm using half inch to join it here. Yeah, by the time I use half inch here to join, it will fall back to nine inches. So I'm taking nine and a half inches here. So from this my hip, I'm taking my knee measurement of 21 inches, but I'm taking 21 and a half inches. By the time I use the half inch joining, it will fall into places. Then the full length of the skirt, I've already marked it with my folding in allowance. So now we're going to input our body measurements. So we're going to turn these lines to straight lines. So I'm done turning it to straight lines. So the next thing we are going to do now is to input our body measurement. So we're starting with the waist. The round waist measurement I'm working with is uh, 36 inches. When you divide it by 4, it will give you 9 inches. So I'm marking my 9 inches here. Then I will input 1.5 inches for seam allowance. So the hip I'm working with is hip of 48 inches. When you divide it by 4, it will give you 12 inches. This is the 12 inches. So I'm going to input 1.5 inches for seam allowance so 12 inches plus one and a half that is 13 and a half on my knee i'm going to my nose one and a half that means i'm going with 12 inches on my knee this has to as both the seam allowance 12 inches so now i have to connect all these points together so I'm connecting it now. Waist to the hip. Then here I can go with a straight line. Then I will blend it after to the knee. And I'll put my ruler here. To blend this sharp edge so this is it now so from my knee I'm just going to connect it straight 
to my hem. From here, I'll just go straight to the hem. I'll just put my ruler this way and connect it straight to the hem. So this is for the front. So now I'm going to go up here by one inch and, and cut it. So I'll go up at this hemline here. I'll have to go up with one inch. This is to avoid the sharp pointedness there. So I'm going to cut this out now. I'm done with this, so I'm cutting it out now. So I'm done cutting it out. This is what I have now. So I'm going to put the another fold of two for me to cut the back. So I have put my fabrics in two fold again, and I have also placed my front on the folded fabrics. So what I did here is, if you look at this, my zipper allowance side, I've already marked out my two inches zipper allowance, but I have more than two inches as my zipper allowance. I have about five and a half inches here, all through the down. So, and also, I want to push it forward so that you can see what I'm doing. At this hem, I also have about four inches extension at this hem line. So what I'm going to do now is, by this side, I'm just going to trim it, stress it the way it is and cut it out. I'm not doing anything here. It's on this, my zipper allowance side that I'm going to work in. This is my knee line. So at this, my knee line, I will go up towards my hip by five inches. I'm taking five inches from my knee line. So, five inches. At this my knee line, I'm taking half an inch. Or I'm taking three quarter of an inch. Three quarter of an inch here. Yeah? So, I'm going to connect the two together now. From this my five inches, I will connect it to that my three quarter of an inch. It will be somehow slanted. So this is what I have. Then from this three quarter of an inch, I will just mark it straight to my hem. Remember my hemline is longer with four inches. So I'm going to put my ruler from this my three quarter of an inch this way. To the hem. So this is it now. So on this my side, piece, the pieces side, I'll just put my curve ruler. It has to be equal at this side. Put it, make it to be equal at the side here. Then I, you have to, you can use freehand to curve it from here now. We will make a curve to meet the side. Have you seen it? We make a curve. It has to be equal here at the side. So this is all now. Now we are going to cut this out. So, I'll cut from my normal zipper allowance of 2 inches here. Then I will slant it towards the quarter of an inch that I took at the knee line. Then from there, I will cut it straight to my train extension. This train extension you can make it 10 inches, you can make it 8 inches, depending on your choice, how full you want it to be, and also the amount of fabric that you have. This trend extension. 
So I have to push it forward so that you will see it. So from here now, I'm going to cut it to connect to my side seam. It has to be very equal at that side. It's not equal on the side. One side is longer than the other. It has to be very equal. So this side, I will just cut it the way it is. It has to be the same thing with the front. This is my trend extension. You see it? I told you, you can make it bigger. This side, you can make it 8 inches, depending on how full you want it to be. Watch out for the sewing of this uh, mermaid gown. It's going to be a gown. Watch out for the sewing. So the, so the next tutorial will be the sewing of it. So this is it. This is what we have at the end. This is for the front and this is for the back. You can see that the back is longer than the front. So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. If this tutorial has been helpful, you can see the size are equal. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to support me. Thank you and God bless you for watching to the end of this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.